Hey everyone, <clears throat> welcome to another vlog. Yeah, so yeah, it's been a, a you know I thought to just get a vlog out the way today because I feel I'm in the mood to talk about stuff. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. The main thing I want to talk about today is is the announcement made by the TFN crew. And uh, I wasn't going to make a video in regards to this because obviously there's nothing really to announce except for obviously what they announced today. Uh, obviously there's been a lot of silence, um, a lot of, you know, not purposely done silence if you know what I mean, but there's been a lot of silence on the TFN crew mm -hmm. side of things because obviously they've been keeping a good close eye on the... Uh, on the situation that's going on at the moment and whether or not to proceed with it in August of this year. And uh, they finally brought the news today that, or this evening, that TF Nation 2020, uh, 2021 is no longer happening. It has been cancelled as a physical event uh, like it did last year. And they are moving forward with a big broadcast like they did last year as well. So, yeah, it's a little bit sweet. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be quite honest. Uh, it's a little bit bittersweet that TFN isn't happening again this year because I really needed it. I'm not gonna. You know, I really, really needed it, and I'm not the only one. A lot of the people that are that that are TF Nation regulars and have been going since since it was Art Assembly or since Art Assembly. Um, you know, I've been, you know, I was going ten. I went ten years straight to this thing, uh, or to Birmingham for either Art, Art Assembly and and also now TF Nation. And it's something that I've I've known for quite a big chunk of my life. And due to the situation at the moment, and with it kind of just being like snatched away due to what's going on, um, you know, it it isn't nice because it is it was something that I always looked forward to every year. It was something that where. Unfortunately, because of my, uh, you know, because I barely see a lot of the people that I've made friends with over the years, I barely talk to them outside of TFN, or, you know, in the past art assembly, because that was the only time that I really was able to interact with a lot of people, and that that's not just on my side, that's everybody, you know, everyone, you know, there are some people that you just can't, you know, you can't just talk, you can't talk to everybody, you know, it's kind of impossible when you're not actually physically there at this at that event it is kind of impossible to outside of that on social media it's really kind of impossible to kind of keep tabs and keep talking to everybody um and basically tf nation uh, and also in the past again art assembly have you know put on an event where you know, I've been putting on this event and it has, it has enabled everybody to be able to be in one place at one time over a, a weekend and talk whatever and have a good laugh, let the hair down, de-stress about everything that's going on in the world and just be around people that get them, understand who they are and like the same things that they like. Transformers, anime, movies, what have you, whatever your interests are. And, um, yeah, it's become like a pinnacle thing for me every year. Uh, and uh, when, obviously, last year it, it didn't happen for the first time for me, and obviously it was the first one that had to be cancelled in the TF Nation history. Um, obviously, it's, you know, it's uh, it was it was... It was hard last year, but at the same time, last year it was a hell of a lot where it was really, really bad last year, and I completely understood why it didn't happen last year and why they ended up doing the big broadcast. Because obviously, it's one of those things, you know what I mean? It's one of those things that, you know, it was very, very, very kind of, 
yeah, last year was just bad. Um, obviously, on my, my personally, it was bad for me as well. So obviously, I lost my grandparents, and uh, it was a testing year for many people. And uh, when when we finally come out of twenty twenty, and we were really putting our hopes on TFN happening this year, because especially with the government saying that. June 21st is looking like to be, hopefully, or they're wanting it to be, the exit. So when everything starts to reopen again. And any events that happen later on in the year, like toy fairs and comic cons that are like happen like usually in November and such, will hopefully be allowed to happen. And uh, with that news, a lot of people started to think, ooh, this could happen, TFN could happen, because obviously past july 21st it's in august but at the same time i i don't want to be too judgmental on the tfn obviously i'm not being judgmental on but you know with the tfn crew i've just been honest um obviously they have to make they have they have to break this 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 news again and obviously it'll be really really trying and it will also be really really uh hard for them to announce this news because you know, it's something that they uh, that Billy, David, Grace, the Mapes brothers, and everybody else is a uh, Tory and uh, Petrina and everyone else that work on that work behind the scenes um, to bring us this event every year. You know, th- last year and this year, it would have been really, really hard for them to bring to to make the decision to cancel it because they put so much work into it they sacrifice so much of their spare time to bring us this event so it would have been equally as hard for them to to cancel it cancel the physical event um but yeah it it is bittersweet for me uh, because like I've just said, I genuinely really love and enjoy going to this thing. Um, not so much the dealer room, even though I do like meeting the guests. Um, I do like having a look, having a little browse around the dealer room, and maybe the cheek, the odd cheeky little purchase here and there. Who doesn't? That's the whole idea. But for me personally, uh, for the, for the past probably I'd say. Uh, in 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 the time of me going to these events, probably for the past three or four years, it has been a lot more about the social side than it has been for the actual convention itself, like the whole the the panels and everything that they put on. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy going to the panels and I do enjoy checking it out and going around the dealer room, going around the forge and all that stuff. I enjoy doing that. But for me, it's been there in person, surrounded by people that I've made friends with all these years. And uh, it's just nice. I just find, I just get more enjoyment out the social side of things because this event has actually helped me a hell of a lot with my insecurities it's helped me it's helped me a lot with um being able to interact with strangers and other people because before i ever went to a convention before i ever went step foot in birmingham to go to um auto assembly which was 2010 auto assembly was my first ever one and before that i was a completely different person socially i am i didn't really have much of a social life at all i was very much i was completely different to who i am now let's just put it that way i was completely i was very unsure about myself uh, I, st- I still have an essence of that now but i was very unsure of of myself and i was very um you know a bit you know it was just a bit you know i yeah, it was basically. I don't know how much more I can really say that. It's just, you know, I was I was a little bit different back then, and uh, obviously when I went to TFN twenty eight, sorry, Art Assembly twenty ten, sorry, 
Um, I met everybody that I'd been watching on YouTube and my fellow Transformers reviewers that I'd that I've been talking to for a good year or two prior to going to Auto Assembly. Um, you know, I it really helped me over the years to conquer my issues with interacting with people that I've never met before, making friends. Because even though I did make friends at like school, at school, um, I did have a a good three three friends that I met through through my whole school time. Uh, but unfortunately, there's only Sam that is uh, my mate Sam, obviously that goes to this. Uh, many of you already know who Sam is, anyways. But Sam, you know, he was he's literally the only friend that I'm still in contact with a lot, quite a lot. Um, that I used to go to school with. Um, everyone else, um, like my mate Chris and my mate Ben, I barely ever see those two because that's how life is, you know. Um, and obviously Tony, I've be- I've barely seen Tony either. Um, to be honest, I, I, I think he's probably quite happy. I haven't seen my ugly mug for a long while. <laughs> yeah, you know. It put, you know, but uh, but no. In, in all fairness, in in, in seriousness, it's uh, you know I haven't been able to socialise with any anyone. I've been able to see Tony, you know, before we used to kind of meet up and have a cheeky pint and a meal, um, in a local pub that's not too far from me or him, and we used to do that now and again. We used to plan going to TFN and Auto Assembly, and uh, we used to plan all that stuff over a meal and a couple of pints and. We haven't been able to do that for the now it will be two years because obviously it's not happening this year either. So yeah, it's it's been hard not to be there. It's been very strange and quite alien for me to come to terms with really because it's been something that was that has been so apparent in my in my life <clears throat> since twenty ten. And obviously through the through all that time, obviously I've lost my mom, I lost my job. That I was that I was doing for the for about ten years, and um, you know I've I've seen a lot of stuff in my personal life where, and obviously as of last year I lost my grandparents like I said, uh, and then I also got back into work as well. So it's kind of like in my personal life I've had quite a roller coaster of a time, and going to this event, <clears throat> going to TFN and art assemblies. It has really kind of helped me to kind of and helped kind of like a need for kind of being on my own, being with myself and kind of an essence of escapism uh, that I really needed uh, at certain points within the last four years. Um yeah, it really has. It's it's really helped me at times where where it's been very trying. Where I've obviously been doing job searching at one point and uh, getting rejections from jobs and then and things of that nature. And it was very stressful, um, very stressful for me um, at times over the past four or five years. And uh, mm-hmm. so yeah, going to TFN re- it really did kind of help me kind of have that essence of escapism, just for a couple of days a year, and uh, being around people that I really respect and uh, love socialising with um, while I'm there. You know, it really does help me. It really has helped me a lot, uh, and it's also helped me as a person as well. <clears throat> this may, f- you know, a-, a lot of people probably be in the background watching this and going, "Hear that? This is my, this is the world's smallest violin." Um, you know, Knowles is saying all this stuff, and it's only for the camera and all that. And it's not, ju- it's not for the camera at all. Uh, yeah, okay, I am recording this on a camera, and I'm talking to myself in an empty fucking living room. But what I'm saying is the complete and honest truth, and. That's that's the thing, you know. But uh, uh, on a closing note, I just want to kind of end this and just say to the TFN crew that I just say that I'm saying this to you guys, uh, you know, face to face in a way, even though it's not. 
I'm saying it's more, more directly to Billy and to David and to Grace and to Izzy, Tori, whoever else who actually is interested in my thoughts on this, um, that work behind the scenes at the T at TF Nation. Um, I just want to say to you guys, thank you ever so much for the 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 the, the work that you do every single year. Thank you for the you know because obviously you've sacrificed so much of your social time to bring us this event every year. Um, so thank you so much for that, and thank you for kind of helping me over the time to become the person that I am now. You know the you know it. It really has helped me a lot, you know, with that kind of thing, you know, with, you know, meeting other people, socialising and all that. Um, but I also just want to say as well, quickly, that, you know, so obviously thank you for, that's a nice thank you to you guys. But um, I also do understand the decision. Uh, I know I might have come over a little bit cold and a little bit... Um, mm -hmm maybe a little bit too hard at the beginning but these are my raw emotions that I that I feel from it not happening again because it was something I really needed to happen this year and the same for a lot of other people that will be very upset that it isn't happening as a physical event and I keep saying that as a physical event I know there's going to be the big broadcast number two happening this year Something to look forward to, I guess. Uh, but it's, it doesn't hold a candle to the physical thing. Um, even though mm. I did enjoy the big broadcast last year, I thought they did a great job with it being the very first fully virtual event. And the amount of guests and special surprises that they had in store for us during that physical uh, big broadcast event last year was absolutely incredible of how what they managed to pull off. And I've got no doubt that the, the, this year's big broadcast will be equally as awesome. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I have to be honest with myself here. And that's the whole idea of this channel is to kind of just be honest and just be real. That's the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I understand this, the, the, that, you know, why they made this decision. Of it being cancelled, you know this situation is still going on in the world. People are still being vaccinated. There are still a lot of people that haven't been vaccinated yet, which will probably it will take a while for people that aren't considered uh, vulnerable or uh, have massive uh, like health issues that need it first. Um, you know those people that like including myself that have already had the vaccine. Um, you know, a lot of other people that aren't considered vulnerable or really in need for it, you know, they will be a little bit further down the road. So there's that to consider. There's also guests to consider. There's the, the health of guests, the health of um, the volunteers and the staff, and including us, the attendees. Uh, so that's why they've made this, this uh, decision uh, and the co or come to this decision to cancel it again, the physical event this year, because you know they have to consider <clears throat> they have to consider the health of everybody that is in that building. Um, that is their priority is to is to you know it, it, that is the decision that that is the whole point. Um, but yeah, I understand where they're coming from i understand why it's been made this decision i do but it still is quite hard uh it's still quite hard for me to come to terms with because like i've already mentioned you know i'm not going to say it anymore because i'm not going to repeat myself anymore but but that's it that's the vlog i know it's a bit longer than i wanted it to be it's nearly 20 minutes long but um but there it is that's my vlog for today it's you know and not it, you know but anyway it's one of those things I'm gonna be there next year uh, hopefully you know TFN 2022 I will be there with bells on and I will see all of you hopefully all you beautiful people that will be there next year I will see you there and I'll see you then.
and uh, <coughs> it will be probably a TFN not to rem not to forget. It will be something to remember um, because it, it you know by TFN coming up next year, it will be like three years since anyone has really stepped foot in Birmingham for TF Nation. Because uh, obviously that would that will be right. Um, so by TFN next year, it will be three years, and uh, so a lot of you know it it it's quite hard to come to it's quite hard to really fathom that that it'd be like three years TFN next year <laughs> until uh, until we can all properly be in that same space and um, experience it all together. And I cannot wait for that. So thank you very much for watching. Again, a massive thank you to the TFN crew for all their hard work. And uh, But yeah, so I will see everybody hopefully next year. And I can't wait for next year's event. I really cannot wait. And I will... Oh my God, it will be awesome. Thank you. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.